Hi everyone. So last time we took a look at Estuary, today we're going to take a look at Estouchy, which is the touch equivalent of Estuary, just like Retouched was the equivalent of Confluence. Um, so as you can see, we start right away on the home screen, and as you can tell, this home screen is very different than the Estuary home screen. This is very much more oriented towards touch um, and touch controls. So uh, the goal here is more to show off just exactly how touch controls would work in the new S Touchy. Um, so on this home screen, you have a couple different options. There's uh, obviously the main the main big categories. More, much less of uh, of all the contents available on the home screen. It's more of a similar look rather than a similar use. Uh, but with that said, you can still access recent movies uh, and recent episodes. Um, and you can sc scroll through those using your fingers. I'm at the moment showing this off with a mouse, uh, but fingers do basically the same thing. You can scroll through all that. And recent episodes, you can scroll through all that. Uh, now, there are a couple of things that are important to note about both the home screen and S Touchy altogether. Number one, this big Cody logo up at the top is the home button. You press that, that'll always take you back to this screen. Um, number two is that every one of these buttons works sort of similarly. So let's say we want to go to TV shows. Now we get a listing of all the TV shows and you can scroll through using your finger, um, just like you could always. Uh, you can also switch. So over here we have all of the various buttons that control what we're, what we're doing. So the top button here is live TV then movies, then TV shows, and then the videos button, which doesn't seem to do anything, then music, pictures, uh, and add-ons. Um, and now, let's go back to this TV shows button. You can also do a number of different things with these buttons down here. Obviously, this button is the back button. This button is the filter button, which lets you narrow it down to, you know, whatever you're specifically looking for. Uh, let's get out of that. This lets you switch the look uh, of the buttons, and there are three different looks. I personally think the, the default look here is pretty good, but if you're more into lists and you have a really big screen, that's fine. Uh, or this look is also good. Uh, but let's stick with the default. And then this is the settings, and of course from here you can do what you can always do with uh, with uh, Retouched, which is update library, uh, search, and all of your various sort functions. So from movies, let's go to live TV. Uh, here in live TV, you can see uh, it's pretty similar to Estuary. Um, everything's all listed uh, by channel, um, and you can select any individual channel and fairly easily pull up uh, your content. So um, today we're going to go ahead and pull up something from PBS just because it's a little bit more friendly on that term. Uh, and now uh, I've clicked Thomas and Friends here and as you can see uh, there are uh, Thomas and Friends starts up uh, minimized down here on the bottom corner and you can actually make it full screen in one of two different ways. You can either actually select this channel a second time and that'll pop it up to full screen or you can select the video itself, which also pops it up to full screen. Um, and then while it's full screen, I'll show the on-screen display a little bit. You can hit stop or pause. Uh, this turns off the on-screen display. Um, and of course, this goes back. You can also, while it's, not, while it's not full screen, while it's minimized like this, you can control it up here. This controls the audio. This pauses it, fast forwards, and of course, this stops it altogether. Uh, so that's live TV. Um, so let's go to movies and then use our, our standard, where is it, Big Buck Bunny here. Um, HD, probably we want that one. Uh, yep, 1080p. Let's hit play. Um, and here is the standard 1080p view uh, for, for your playback. It looks basically the same as live TV version did. This controls how far into the video you are. This controls the volume, and you can control it that way, or you can just use the buttons on your controller. Uh, let's turn that back off, though. Get rid of that. Um, over here, we have the controls for video settings, bookmarks. If you've used Retouched, this should look really familiar to you. Uh, and video settings just look like they always do. Um, 
and uh, this will get you out of full screen, just like that. And then if you're out of full screen and you're using the, the UI, but you wanna pause or stop, the controls are always up here at the top. So I'm gonna stop it just like that. Uh, finally, let's go back to the home screen once again. In settings, we have settings set up like this. Um, down here is profiles, if you use profiles, which I don't. Uh, the, the info about uh, your Cody right here. Um, and favorites right there. And, and actually, oops. Favorites are also right here in case you need them. Um, in terms of appearance and how this works, this is pretty different than uh, than Estuary because there aren't themes and colors or anything like that. There are skin settings though, um, where you can turn on and off all the buttons on the home screen. For example, live TV is usually defaulted to off. I had to turn it on from the settings myself. You can also add shortcuts here. So uh, let's say I wanna add HD home run and rooster teeth because that's what I like to do. Let's get out of here and go back to home. So then you would switch over here and the add-ons would then show up as a new category. And that's really pretty much it. This is the power button that shuts down the system. Uh, and that's it. That's uh, a real simple look through uh, through S-Touchy. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really nice, simple, easy to use skin for tablets and touch interfaces. So uh, definitely check it out.